Uh, I would request uh, everyone to just introduce uh, for a minute and they'll move on to the next session. So I would request uh, uh, Rajay, um, Rajesh Venki, if you can introduce yourself, that'll be good. Yeah, hi, good evening. Uh, my name is Rajesh Venkateshwaran and I am from uh, QPro Design Consultants. Uh, we are uh, in uh, Chennai. And Thank you. We Your are, voice we is breaking, to... Raj. Your voice is breaking. Okay. Uh, I am Rajesh Venkateshwaran. I am from QPro Design Consultants. Uh, we are based in Chennai and Mumbai. Uh, we are into IBMS, MEP, MEP and Sustainability Design Consultants. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you, Rajesh. So you are uh, specialized in? So I am specialized in uh, infra projects, operations. OK, infra projects and all. Uh, Mala, I'm sorry, you know, since uh, there are new people, uh, Mala, uh, Mala, can you uh, come in and uh, introduce yourself? You are on mute. Can you unmute? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, hi. Good evening, everyone. Uh, this is Mala. Mala and, uh, hi, everyone. Sandeep ji, Ashish ji, I can see you. Hi. And uh, I'm very happy uh, in this evening. And uh, uh, for introduction, I'm representing uh, PC Greening India, which is a green building and sustainability services company. Uh, from Mumbai and uh, we are doing uh, uh, micro and macro all uh, both level projects uh, you know building level as well as the master uh, infrastructure projects also we are doing and um, as a sustainability consultant we are uh, you know into all the kind of sectors like healthcare educational hospitality residential commercial and I would say uh, every segment of the, you know, the, if you ask any typology in the building construction industry, we are already doing some projects. And that's the, uh, you know, our credentials. And uh, uh, apart from that, uh, from Indian Green Building Council, I'm uh, representing as a co-chair IGBC, Mumbai chapter, and supporting our chair, uh, Sandeep, architect Sandeep Shikre, and also executive board member of IGBC. And... Uh, or various other forums of government and various associations I represent in my, you know, wherever I'm trying to contribute in the way of sustainability and environmental management and uh, basically environmental uh, design aspects. And uh, I'm happy with the focus and uh, I think uh, sustainability is my main, you know, mission here to contribute. Yeah. yeah. You, you forgot to tell what position you're holding in focus. Yeah, that's what I thought I should <laughs> speak or not. Uh, yeah, uh, I feel uh, very proud and uh, privileged that I'm holding the position of sustainability chairperson here, and uh, which is a very, very important, uh, I would say, vertical. And uh, I am really about a lot of you know passion I have to contribute. And uh, because this is any way for the betterment of communities. And I would love to contribute always. In Thank, my you. Thank you, Mal. Uh, great, uh, great to know you. And uh, can I have uh, uh, Rakesh Bhatia to come in and just introduce yourself quickly? Hi, this is uh, Rakesh here uh, from uh, EcoFirst Tata Consulting Engineers. So we've been uh, market leaders in the infrastructure and MEP design space. And uh, our core focus area at EcoFirst has been sustainable integrated design. So we are multidisciplinary, consisting of architects, engineers, commissioning folks. So we uh, actually focus more and more on integrated design projects rather than standalone MEP solutions. And my personal interest has been for the last four years doing heritage project management projects. So few of the accomplishments have been like uh, delivering Bombay House, uh, which is the group headquarters for Tata's. We recently completed the chairman's office of BPCL at Ballard Estate. And we are now delivering another core uh, 
building for a new Tata Group company called Tata Digital. This is the smart company which acquired Big Basket just two days back, and they will be integrating the retail business of Tata Group. So we just finished the heritage building for them as well. So this is in short a uh, profile for us. A pleasure to know you, by Rakesh. It's uh, you. welcome to Focus Cutting Chapter of Mumbai. I now move on to, we have A.L. Narsimhan. Uh, I'm just going on the sequence of the image that I'm seeing on the screen. Can I have uh, Narsimhan to come on? Hi, good evening. Uh, this is A.L. Narsimhan from Prama Equation India. I, uh, from professional point of view, I am, I work as the Vice President of Strategic Business Alliances for Prama Equation. And uh, in focus, uh, I carry the responsibility of the general secretary. So we had a great inauguration and today we are going to look forward to the opening of the Mumbai chapter. I welcome all of you and look forward to an active participation. Thank you so much. Yeah, I just want to correct that. Uh, we are not opening the chapter today. It's a cut and razor. So we are just deliberating uh, what shape and who, you know, how we're going to kick off and uh, launch sure. date and all that. I'm sure everybody would have got the agenda. So moving on to, thank you, Nasiman. Moving on to our friend, Tak Matthews. Uh, can I welcome Tak Matthew? And please introduce yourself. I'm uh, Tak Matthews. I've been in the elevator industry for about 30, 32 years now. Uh, the last uh, 16 years, it has been, I've been an independent uh, consultant. Uh, and uh, involved in a lot of activities related to the elevator industry. Uh, in focus, I'm one of the founding members, very proud to be that. And I'm also uh, leading the vertical related to uh, vertical transportation, elevators and uh, escalators. Uh, we've got a long uh, way to go and uh, struggling and get, trying to get things together. Thank you. Uh, thank you. And also is uh, the convener of the National Building Code on vertical transportations, uh, uh, a highly respected speaker in that subject. Uh, thank you, Tech Matthews, and uh, thank you for joining this meeting. So I'll move on to Rumi, room engineer. I can have you on the screen and introduce yourself. Yeah. <clears throat> Good evening, friends, and uh, thanks very much for inviting me to the Focus uh, Mumbai chapter. Uh, I am just now driving this uh, energy efficiency, sustainability across all the 14 business units at the industrial units at Godrej and Boyce. Earlier, I was associated with Green Building Consulting Services uh, for Godrej and Boyce, where we were doing a lot of uh, retrofit projects as well as the new projects. Mm -hmm. So our domain expertise lies in the electrical HVAC uh, systems and industrial systems, so where a lot of retrofits are needed and uh, energy efficiency is, is uh, uh, required. So right from carbon uh, inventorization, et cetera, on the sustainability note. So I am heading this entire Greener India initiatives as well as the energy efficiency initiatives at both and Boys. Thanks very much. Thank you, Rumi, sir. Um, pleasure to have you on this meeting, sir. Thank you. Move on to uh, Satish Ayangar, sir, is there. Can, you have, can I have you, sir? Yeah. Hi, Fox. Good evening. I'm Satish Ayengar. Professionally, I'm running a MEP sustainability consultancy firm under the name of Services Consultants for the last four decades, based at Bangalore with a pan India and global presence, doing all sorts of projects. I am also the treasurer for Focus and one of the founding members and uh, wish Mumbai chapter to start well because I have lot of fond memories with Mumbai, having started my career in Mumbai and having a lot of friends there. Thank you. Thank you, Sati, sir. Thank you for joining. And uh, may I request now Jayalakshmi Venkat Narayan from Bangalore to introduce yourself briefly. So, okay. uh, so good, evening. good evening, everyone. Good evening, everyone. I'm Jayalakshmi Venkat Narayan from Bangalore. And uh, I'm the only women business partner for Emerson Veritiv since 24 years. Started this business with UPS and battery. Today we can say HVAC and uh, data centers and uh, complete total power solution, including solar under one roof. And uh, proud to say that I'm the chairman for Bangalore chapter. And um, 
best wishes for mumbai rock so soon waiting for that launch thank you so much uh thank you delakshmi madam and uh, she is the chairperson of uh, focus in bangalore i'll move on to santosh patak um, uh, can you come on and introduce yourself santosh good evening everybody <clears throat> good evening sir i am santosh patak publisher and uh, editor of uh, one of the leading uh, security and safety magazine in india that is called security link india and we are also running one of the portal that is www.securitylinkindia.com that is doing wonderfully good best wishes for uh, focus mumbai chapter well thank you santosh bhai so thank you for joining us and uh, hope you will enjoy this uh, session and i have another friend of mine most everybody's friend so vinak sane uh one of the veteran in ibm is here uh, can i have vinak sane to introduce yourself hi dominic uh thank you for inviting me on the <clears throat> one focus event i head the company called abhyanta consulting engineers and elmark engineers we are into mep consulting specialized into electrical and uh, low voltage been there in the industry for last 25 30 years and uh, look forward to working more on this platform when the given the opportunity thank you thank you vinay thank you for your introduction uh, look forward to uh, be here for some time and can i have viren coming on uh, the screen all right now dominic thank you very much uh, it's my privilege to be introduced to such an august uh, audience for the first time uh, i am an electrical engineer did my mba and a certified energy auditor i have been associated with energy efficiency projects in switch gears solar systems solar thermal i have been working with bis committees for drafting of standard in induction motors solar collectors and things like that and presently yes i would like to contribute to this group given the opportunity thank you dominic thank you sir thank you thank you for joining we have amod dikshit uh, can amod uh, can you come on to screen please yeah just give me i just entered home so just give me a moment please <laughs> well, you know all this gets entangled quite a lot uh, <laughs> So good evening, friends. My name is Amod Dikshit. I am the managing director of uh, Dikshit Consultants and Engineers Private Limited. We are an MEP consultant consulting firm, and uh, we just we are just in our fiftieth year now. So we are celebrating our golden jubilee this year. So mm -hmm. we are representing. Uh, we are represented in Mumbai and Ahmedabad, and doing projects all over India, and having completed I don't know maybe six thousand, seven thousand projects uh, in the last fifty years. So. that is so far as the mep is concerned i am a mechanical engineer by profession and uh, started off as an hvac consultant so in focus i am heading the hvac vertical uh, for with uh, dominic and uh, sandeep shikre and the entire team i see a lot of friends over here a lot of known faces uh, so that's nice to see that you know so many people are interested in focus there's one more thing which uh, we have ventured out into personally uh, it's a very different uh, what do you say uh, it's completely different from engineering altogether so uh, we have a company called healthy mind online india private limited which is into mental health and uh, wellness so this is a singapore based company and i am the managing director of the indian uh, subsidiary so we are getting into something different something you know which covid taught us so from there we will be taking it on so nice being with you and looking forward to the launch for mumbai chapter great amod uh, great and congratulations for 50th anniversary and again Thank congratulations you. for a new venture it's different i think we all need that i'm sure yeah absolutely <laughs> absolutely yeah <laughs> yeah uh, balancing the mind you. yes well, yeah i know okay i'll move on to mohammed uh, sadik uh, sadik sorry uh mohammed okay yogita is come back uh, yogita can you come on screen just introduce quickly yeah i am there dominic oh ravi uh, can you introduce yes and, yes uh, i am there we, yeah go ahead go ahead ravi uh, sorry uh, you will have to repeat what you said can you introduce ravi for briefly okay uh, good evening everybody my name is uh, uh, ravi shankar tandavan uh, i am a founding member as well as uh, 
uh, uh, chair for policy and advocacy at Focus. Uh, I'm, I'm delighted that we have this curtain raiser in Mumbai. It is extremely unfortunate that uh, the physical gathering that we had intended to have had to be uh, you know, done away with. And uh, But nevertheless, uh, uh, good that we have a, a very decent gathering of like-minded people. Uh, Amod Dikshit Saab, Mala Singh Ji, uh, uh, Pro, uh, I, I'm, I'm not getting your name, sorry. Uh, you're all, uh, uh, you know, uh, extremely, uh, uh, you know, uh, powerful people in your line of business, well-known people in your line of business. So I'm sure you all can uh, breathe in life into the Mumbai chapter that is uh, uh, that we are now going to launch. And uh, thank you once again. And I wish uh, this entire uh, Mumbai team all the very best in the launch of the Mumbai chapter. Thank you, Ravi. Thank you. Wonderful message that you give to us. Okay. I'll move on to Baljit. Uh, Baljit Singh there already. So can I have Baljit uh, just introduce yourself, sir? Hi, hi everyone. I just joined a little late. Uh, so I am Baljit Singh, Vice President of Operations and taking care of uh, Operations Pan India for Brookfield India Properties. So that includes Hotel Leela chain and IT parks, etc. So I am based out of Gurgaon and I'm also part of this you know, forum. Thank you so much. This is a brief from my side. Thank you, uh, Baljit. Uh, I'm so sure and, uh, very soon we're going to have it in uh, Delhi NCR, uh, another chapter opening. Definitely we need your help and support to kickstart that in Delhi, the way we are doing it in Mumbai. Okay, uh, since we are running out of uh, time, if uh, Mohamed Sadiq is there, I'll come back to you. I'll come back to Yogita once your you know, audio is clear. Uh, we are still not able to hear you. We'll come back to you later. Uh, so. Ladies and gentlemen, I will uh, begin the uh, evening by... Dominic, uh, Dominic, Dominic, we have Mr. Anirudh Bapad, who heads the LNT. Okay, oh, head. I'm sorry. Yeah, so Anirudh, Anirudh uh, uh, are you able to hear me? Can you just, sorry, can you just introduce yourself? Yes, so, Dominic, I'm, I'm there, able to just hearing out all of you. Uh, yeah. Hi, good evening all. Um, Thank you, uh, Sandeep uh, and uh, Ashish, for inviting me. Introducing me, uh, I'm in MEP department in LNT Reality on Pan India level. Uh, I am an electrical engineer basically, and did my MBA in operations management. Have worked at then moved on to LNT, an LNT becoming a reality division. And since then, I had uh, set up the entire MEP team here in LNT reality. And I've been working on residential and commercial and retail projects uh, so far. Uh, glad to be part of this uh, association, Dominic. <laughs> Thank you, Nirid. Uh, you know, your audio was not yeah. very clear. Yeah. There is, it was so, in the Dominic, field. we also have Mr. Edwin, and uh, Edwin also needs to introduce himself to all of us. Edwin, uh, can you come online and just introduce yourself? Yes. Hi. My name is uh, Edwin Fernandez. I assist uh, uh, Narsimhan sir in his work as a general secretary. So, Good to have. Um, I every meeting is a learning experience for me, so I'm very happy to be here. Thank you, Erwin. Thank you. Good to have you. And we need your support uh, in this uh, Mumbai chapter launch in the future. So I'm sure you will support us in uh, as well in the Mumbai chapter fundraiser. Yes. Uh, I think we missed uh, you know Mohammad Sadiq and uh, Yogita. Uh, let's uh, due to shortage of time, let's move on. Uh, what I'll do is I would like to uh, air the movie, a uh, small uh, video on focus, and later I will hand over this to uh, our uh, uh, Western chairman, Mr. Sandeep uh, Shikre. So I will uh, play a video of uh, focus for everyone to understand.
as the sun rises and shines in glory, so have emerged the fortunes for the Indian construction industry in particular and the global community in general for a stronger, cohesive and focused future that is as bright as the rising sun. Each of the bodies leading the various verticals of the building industry's critical utility services sector have been working towards delivering their best towards building reliable, resilient and sustainable structures. With the emergence of FOCUS, the Forum of Critical Utility Services, all these bodies will now join hands to spearhead and deliver not just reliable and resilient structures, but structures that are now even more reliable, resilient, efficient, sustainable, coordinated, and thus delivering an integrated faith environment. Most often nature and at times this cruel world teaches us the importance and value of resilience, sustainability and performance of the critical utility services in a building. The delusion Mumbai, Chennai and Kerala brought the arrogant mankind onto its knees. Irrespective of the type of disaster, be it the tsunami, the COVID-19 pandemic, the power grid failures or even a bomb scare, all these constantly seem to direct our attention for the need to strengthening our coordination. We therefore must channelize our energies for a common goal that shall make it possible for us to deliver structures that can stand majestically, offering a safe and conducive living environment even under such exigencies. While we are preparing to cope with the deluge of these adversities, there are yet other challenges being presented to mankind. These are as a result of our unkind acts of neglect and indifference towards nature. It is being said that in the future wars could be fought for water and even air. It is indeed true that we are striving towards delivering more and more projects that are self-sustainable. With all your support to focus, we now can identify lacunas, actively deliver support each other in our combat against odds on our paths, sensitize and represent appropriately to authorities, so we are able to give back more than we draw from Mother Earth. At the end of it all, the objective and our core philosophy and principle is to deliver to our customer not just a building, but a monument that should stand the test of adversities in the times to come. Is it not our responsibility towards our future generations to leave behind a planet that is thriving? Of course it is. And for this, all that we need to do is to be in sync with the way nature works. Our cry therefore is come one, come all. In our efforts to strengthen, streamline, sensitize and secure a world that we can leave behind for posterity to cherish. the short movie about uh, focus i now welcome uh, our uh, vice uh, our uh, ch chairman of the western region architect sandeep shikhar over to you sir thank you dominic um, and let me uh, welcome all the viewers i truly appreciate uh, all of your presence and your valuable time that you are giving for this uh, session uh, actually, we had planned to have this particular session in a physical meeting, which was scheduled, but to honor and uh, follow the advice given by the state government, we said that let us have this meeting on a digital forum, whereby social gathering for a moment has been prohibited by 
our honorable chief minister uh, immediately uh, yesterday we took the decision to shift the meeting on a digital platform and i truly appreciate and admire that everyone with the same enthusiasm and with the same commitment have shown up on a digital platform so first of all welcome to all of you i was just looking at it you know all that begins well it grows well uh, this particular initiative of focus was initiated around 4 months back and within 4 months so much have been done you know and the strength of togetherness strength of collaboration strength of comprehensive approach is been seen again you know as an architect i am an architect we always say architecture is a creative science which combines art and engineering where art and engineering is inseparable and through a collaborative and a comprehensive approach we develop a people centric built environment now this built environment is responsible it has to be functional it has to be safe it has to be sustainable and it has to be very meaningful so while we were looking at every discipline we said that there has been so many associations there has been so many forums which looks after each and every discipline for hvac we have ashre we have ishre for sustainability we have igbc for plumbing and sanitation we have ipa and so on but the time has come where we need to look at all these disciplines together as a holistic approach it's very important that all these disciplines speak with each other and also ensures that the critical utility which are largely contributing towards a safety also hygiene the wellness and the efficiency of the occupant so with this mission and vision this particular forum had began this has began with the very very able leadership of mr v suresh we have a very young and dynamic vice chair in the form of ashish who is here with me and mr velan and all the founder members if you will see the list of the founder members they are all who's who this is purely a kind of an organization which is for the fraternity it's a selfless organization all of us here are like minded people and we all want to give back something to our fraternity and our community with the same kind of a thought and enthusiasm we have formed this particular forum which is called as a focus which means a uh, focus on critical utility services there is lot that needs to be done and everyone's contribution thoughts are very very important and i was just looking at the 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 talent that we have today on session and if i calculate the number of years experience of all the 20 odd people here uh, it actually crosses more than 700 years of experience so can you believe when we come together uh, what we bring on a forum more than a 700 years of experience with several stalwarts endless list of their accolades to the society to the fraternity and here what we want to do slowly and steadily form a association which will spread all over india we already have our chapter launched in bangalore i'm very glad to see our bangalore uh, chair lady is here she has been running it very well leading it from the front and our aim is to gradually and slowly establish chapters in every city so this is a mumbai chapter curtain raiser the idea is to understand more about focus meet each other understand each other very well and then as i am responsible for the western region i would urge all of you to please express your interest to become a mumbai chapter committee member our aim is another 3 to 4 weeks we'll be crystallizing the final list and also the leadership and we will be formally launching a mumbai chapter and we want each one of you to be there to contribute for this particular noble cause uh, ashish is of course going to take you through a very formal powerpoint presentation which talks about the mission vision and various other facets of our forum but as a chapter it will be a responsibility of a uh, all chapter committee members to contribute towards conducting a knowledge series webinars also site visits also to have a news letter publication have a proper access to the policy makers the government semi government organization and build this awareness of how important it is 
the integration of critical utility is for the safety and uh, longevity of the uh, society and the community. Uh, so we would like to begin probably mid-March or at the conclusive week of March, whereby the formal movement chapter will be established. We also intend to form a lot of subcommittees because we want to make this whole program very inclusive. So there is no hierarchy, there is no any order of uh, seniority. Each one of us are equally responsible, equally uh, uh, important for this mission because the whole idea here is to respect each and every discipline. And as an architect, I always do that task because we have several experts uh, who are contributing their thoughts and talent to make our uh, architecture come true. So I understand the importance of each and every discipline. I'm so glad to see here a diverse talent we have. I mean, if I have to name each one of you who's here is, is a stalwart in your own way. I mean, we have Rumi sir, who's our senior stalwart. Uh, we have Mr. Anirud Bapat from LNT. We have Mr. Mohammed Sadiq from Market City. Our own Mala Singh is there, who's heading our sustainable division. Mr. Tak Matthews is there. Satish Aingarji is there. And most importantly, we have a very, very energetic general secretary in the form of Mr. A. L. Nansima. We have a very, very able coordinator, Ms. Mamta, and we have a good team in place. So I once again uh, really appreciate your time and your uh, joining this forum. We look forward for your active participation as we move ahead for launching of Mumbai chapter. And after Ashish's presentation, we will be opening the floor for questions and answers, uh, whereby if you have any queries to know more about this forum, to know more about the actual Mumbai chapter activities, I'll be very happy and other founding members who are present here will also be very happy to address your queries. And I think uh, that's enough for my opening remark because Ashish is going to cover uh, the rest of the things in more comprehensive manner. Thank you very much. Thank you, Sandeep. Wonderful, uh, lovely opening remarks you have given. I'm sure under your leadership, uh, the we will see many chapters, not only Mumbai, Pune, you know, we have Surat and Ahmedabad, the rest of the other uh, region too. And uh, I now welcome our National Vice President, uh, Mr. Ashish Rakeja, to do presentation on a focus. Over to Ashish. Thank you. Thank you, Dominic. Right. Thank you, Dominic. Thank you so much. And Namaskar, everyone. Good evening. It's so wonderful to see the, the large number of people that have joined. In fact, very fact that uh, we had invited a select gathering and we see most of the, the members that we had invited who have joined us. I think in introduction, we have few more people who have joined subsequently. And before I go forward, I'd like to invite them. I think Manoj is there. Manoj from Brookfield. Manoj, would you like to just introduce yourself? You can hear me. Yeah, hi, Asis. This side, no thing. And uh, I'm heading Western region of Brookfield, uh, Western and South. So I'm looking after uh, designing and execution part of Brookfield for Western and South. Region. Thank you, Manoj. I can Thank see you. that you're Thanks. excited. Thank you very much for joining here. I see Mr. Shahzad Lehri. Mr. Lehri, if you can introduce yourself quickly. from uh, ceasefire uh, thank you dom and team for uh, inviting me on this uh, esteemed forum and to join and i look forward to uh, work with all of y'all and contribute my best towards society thank you so much thank you mr Larry. so with that i think we can go into into what focus is all about i'm going to throw some numbers at you first uh, and tell me what does that mean to you First of all, I was just browsing through the net and the number that came up in front of me was in 2019 alone, the global economy suffered a loss of $232 billion. And that happened on account of natural disasters. If we come to India and talk about that, 
India suffered a loss of nearly 80 billion dollars in last 20 years. And this report is by UN, uh, uh, which talks about these numbers. There's another body called Global Climate uh, Risk Index. It rates India as 14th most vulnerable country in the world due to natural disasters. This is a 2019 report. And whenever you talk of disasters, we are so far only talking of the natural disasters. The natural disasters not only affect the human and the physical capital, but also affect the country economic growth. A country or a state or a city can slip by a number of years if they are exposed to these disasters and these disasters strike. And mind it, as I said earlier, we are talking about natural disasters. We haven't even started with the man-made disasters. A, a, an example of a man-made disaster could be the cities which flood. And because on account of the poor planning that we do, we talk of Mumbai, you talk of Gurgaon, you, you go across the country. And today we are talking about designs being done in cities like these where we are, are, are accounting for the floods wherever we can. Looking at this, there is a new term which is emerging in our industry called resiliency. In India, we are still talking of green sustainability, but one of the very important part of the sustainability is also resiliency. I can tell you, when I talk to friends across the industry, there is a growing awareness of resiliency. How do we have resilient buildings? How do we talk about resiliency? We cannot do that in isolation. Today, if you look at the platforms that exist, uh, Sandeep mentioned a few of them, whether it's ISHRE, whether it's ASHRE, IPA, Fire and Security Associations, IGBC, they are all silos in their own field, even the elevator, uh, even the electrical, they are all silos in their own field. Today, it's, it's an age where each one has to cut across and there is no forum, no platform which offers us that flexibility. Forum, which is the, uh, the focus, which is the forum of critical utility services, was planned on those lines where we cut across the business verticals, cut across the individual, uh, what we represent, and we come together as a group to talk about issues that concern businesses, that concerns the wider sense of doing businesses today. The critical utilities are gaining a recognition, they're gaining a lot of acceptance, and on this background, we started Focus, the group of us who came together with this idea initially, you heard the names from Sandeep, so I'm not going to repeat that. I'm going to also run it in my presentation. And we are now inviting like-minded people across India to join this movement. These are formative years of focus. Once we have the support from the industry, I'm sure we are going to zoom across. So let me go quickly through what this focus is all about. So that after that, we can talk about with each one of you, uh, what, is, what is it that we should be doing in Western region and going forward to across the country. So focus is a platform, as I said earlier, where we cut across uh, sectors, we come together and we are looking at buildings. We are looking at uh, the built environment uh, in, this, uh, uh, in this forum. What is our mission? Our mission is to serve as a single largest common and cohesive platform for the mutual benefit of the built environment and including all the critical services in the field of fire, field of safety, security, fire protection, electrical, HVAC, plumbing, energy conservation, building transportation, building automation system, asset and facility management. So you can see here, we are covering all sectors. There was a talk about that how is focus different than what the other societies are doing. The difference lies in it's a broader platform where we do not restrict ourselves to one industry as such. We do look at resiliency. We want to talk about building capabilities. Uh, we want to work for the common good of the clients, customers, owners, and occupiers, those who are dealing with the built environment today. Our vision is we want to have Indian critical utility service sectors to set a benchmark in the areas of productivity, safety, and quality 
by improving their ways of working, skills, and standards, and becoming center of excellence by 2030. We want the Indian critical utility sector to be up there on the global map. Our objectives that we started with, we of course want to popularize uh, or make, make our members and the wider industry sector aware of the need for this uh, critical utilities, which currently is very limited or unknown, whether it takes us exhibitions, whether it requires training programs, whether it requires an, uh, a, a get together platforms like exposition trade fairs, whatever it requires, we'll do that. And that's part of our objective. We also want to represent industry to the government. Now, during the launch of the, of the Bangalore chapter, we had uh, the, the, uh, the important government official which were, which were attending that. And they mentioned that when we want to talk about a particular uh, critical utilities, we are not able to talk to any particular organization. You know, we have air conditioning industry coming to us, plumbing coming to us. Uh, the, the various industries that come to us, but there's not one industry where they can talk and cut across. So that's what we want to be doing that. And uh, our membership, we have eight kind of membership today from individual to corporate members, to international members, government members, honorary members, student members, institutional members, and international institution members. You can get details of it if you go to the our, our website. Again, I don't want to get into the details of those because uh, this is something you'll easily find on the website. And those of you, whichever category you feel you like to be, there are benefits, uh, the, the, the rights and the privileges that are against each one of the membership types is, is mentioned out there. The intent today, today is to just to introduce you to focus and then we can uh, answer the questions that come across. So I'm going to cut across these slides, not going to be uh, going into detail. Now, which are the management council members? So we have a management council, uh, which is uh, the members who are doing the day-to-day -day affairs. Our president, as uh, Sandeep earlier introduced, is Mr. V. Suresh. I think all of you would know him. He's an energetic uh, person, a right person to lead this. With over 54 years of experience, he also is the chairman of the Indian Green Building Council. He very, uh, we were fortunate that he agreed to lead this uh, initiative. Then our general secretary is Mr. Narasimhan, uh, again a very dedicated person, spending a lot of time in in managing the affairs. Uh, Dr. Velan uh, from Chennai and myself, we look after. We are the vice two vice presidents, which are assisting the president in the operations of this, uh, uh, of the forum. Mr. Satish Yangar, who's, who's kindly there on this uh, uh, today, he's our uh, treasurer. All the pains related to opening of the accounts, managing the accounts are done by him. And then we have uh, all founder members like Mr. Pradeep Sheikh, and each one of them is, 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 is well known in the industry, Mr. B.S.A. Narayan, uh, Mr. Lalit Gabane. I'm not getting into introduction, introducing them because you can read it on the screen. Plus, again, they are well known. Uh, Mr. Ashi Dhakan, with whose support uh, we got, uh, we have been able to bring focus to, to such a position in such a short time. Mr. Liakat Ali Khan. These are all founder members. Dr. Rupesh Younger, TAC. TAC is, is there on the call. Uh, Ravi again is there, Dominic, you all know him. So this is what the, these are the founding members which are there. We also have a development council where all the industries, all the sectors of our construction industry are, are represented. You can see we have uh, electrical, plumbing, HVAC, safety, fire, security, elevators, IBMS, power, integrated design and architecture, power project management, Marketing and creative, sustainability, illumination, solid waste management, structure, make in India, interiors, facility management, all being there. And each one has a chair, and you can read the chair's name. Again, who's who? And each of these chairs 
are setting up their own team. So they have a group of eight to nine to 10 people under them and they cut across uh, all the chapters. In fact, their role is to, to interact with the chapters and help them grow these areas uh, at, the, at the chapter level also. We are glad that Mala, uh, who's our national chair for uh, sustainability, uh, Dominic and uh, uh, Amod, who's looking at HVAC, Elevators, Dak Matthew, uh, who are all there part of this, uh, this call today. So, and Mr. Baljeet Singh, of course, from our asset and facility management team. So grateful to, to all of them to, to join and, and be there. So I think with this, I'll, I hope I've been able to introduce a focus to you in, in, in a short time. And let's get into the interaction of how to get the Western India chapter going. So I'm going to pass the, the baton on to Sandeep to take it forward from there. So thank you very much. I'll just stop sharing this. Dominic, if you can remove the spotlight from us so we can see everyone there. Okay, uh, let's try and uh, move. So unpin us. Yeah. So, so it's, uh, so there is Mr. Varel Borade also has joined. Maybe Varel could introduce himself. Yeah, good evening, sir. Uh, hi, everyone. This is Virendra Burade uh, from Pune. Hello, Virendra. Uh, glad to good evening, see you here. Yeah, good evening, sir. Good evening, good evening. Glad to see, see you here. Very glad to see and you. And we have uh, Lalitji also joining in us uh, today. So, Mr. Lalit Gomani also joined in. Hi, good evening, everybody. Good evening, sir. Welcome to the Focus family. Good evening, Ali Ji. It's a pleasure to have you here with us. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Sandeep. Thank you. Absolutely. And as I was uh, talking initially, uh, I took for granted Mr. Dominic and Ravi, who are actually the heart and mind of the Focus. So uh, everything and anything that is happening in focus has been initiated and driven by them. So lots of compliments to those two leaders also. I would now request if anybody has any comments, suggestion, questions, uh, so we can spend another 10, 15 minutes uh, to have an interaction uh, about uh, your thoughts, if you have any queries, because Ashish has encompassed everything very well. And I'm sure all of you have got a good insights about what focus is all about. But I would now request the show to be open for all of you to ask your questions or any suggestions. Yeah, hi, good evening. Uh, Sandeep and Ashish, I have one comment to, uh, made, to be made on this forum. I hope I am audible to everyone. Yes. yes. The point uh, why I got, got excited of this forum is if you see in today in today's context, day by day the not only natural disasters but other emergencies are also <clears throat> increasing because of the complex natures of our built environment. And really speaking, the lack of focus is is uh, is there on critical equipments you you name the firefighting equipments you name those uh, pumping installations during <coughs> uh, flood conditions they all are you know most neglected assets we at project level though we uh, commission them to its full fledged capacity but later on over a period of time there is lack of maintenance lack of sensi uh, sensitivity which is leading to these critical equipments are getting deteriorated and we as a whole population is getting vulnerable to all these emergencies. So I am personally really excited to form this, to, to be part of this forum. Sandeep and Ashish, once again, a th big thank you to both of you for initiating this. <clears throat> very, very well said, Anirudh. I think that's exactly 
Our thoughts are quite aligned, absolutely aligned. You're right. Thanks. So, hi, all. I was just mentioning that in one of the, we can add one more development council towards renewable energy, which is going to play a bigger role in the coming days, number one. And number two part is electrical vehicles. They will also come in a bigger place. So we can have some part for charges in the building complexes. That needs to be added in one of the development council. That's my suggestion. Over to Ashish. Okay, so I think that uh, what you're saying uh, is definitely uh, is definitely yes, is required. So we can we can put this across in our uh, in our management council. We'll do that, and maybe we'll include either the renewable as part of one of the existing uh, heads, or we will start a new one. We'll see what what can be done. But thank you for the suggestion. That's really well taken. Absolutely, and as I as I also mentioned that this particular subject uh, will be very dynamic as we move, move ahead. There will be so many uh, specialized niche uh, fields will be there, so it will get widened, and there will be lots and lots of inclusiveness that will attract. So your suggestion is very valid. We appreciate that. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Yeah. So I have my friend Prashant joining he here. Uh, Prashant is also a very, very dear friend and a very reputed architect. And due to that particular link, which was sent earlier, was not performing. He was waiting outside the room. So Prashant, welcome. If you could just unmute yourself and quickly introduce yourself to everyone. It will be great. Yeah. Uh, thank you, Sandeep, for that kind words. And hello, everybody. It's a pleasure to be with all of you. I am sorry, my uh, screen I cannot on because I'm traveling in a car in some different state. So, hello to everybody and we can continue now, Sandeep. Yeah, so thank you, Prashant. And uh, we will definitely keep you posted because as you could not, and I can see Mr. Rupesh is also there. A couple of you could not uh, be in the program right from beginning. So we will make the recording available to you so that you can probably understand what has happened before you could join. And that will give you an idea about. But I appreciate you carving out time, being out of city. Uh, that shows the enthusiasm and commitment. Can I request Mr. Rupesh also to quickly unmute and introduce yourself because I can see you are also logged in late. Yes. Uh, good evening, everyone. Uh, sorry, I was uh, driving, so uh, I could not log in. Uh, so I am Dr. Rupesh Ayengar. I am the chair for IBMS at Focus. And uh, I, uh, I wish uh, the Mumbai chapter uh, a grand success. I'm sure it was a great uh, launch event, uh, a curtain raiser event. Uh, so I'm sorry I, I joined late. Uh, but but uh, yeah, uh, my support is always there uh, for the Mumbai chapter in whatever uh, way you want it, sir. It's never late, Rupesh. You can always catch up. So glad to yes, see you here. Yes, yes, yeah, yes. Glad to see you here. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Sir. Uh, can we have questions, please? Uh, anybody has any doubt on focus and would you like to know uh, more about focus and uh, probably the role that you can play? So it's a wonderful opportunity to clarify your doubt if you have any. Good evening, sir. Uh, Sandeep, sir, and Ashish, sir. Uh, this is Shazid Lehri once again. Uh, sir, uh, since this uh, group is so dynamic and uh, there are so many avenues to work uh, in every field, uh, and Ashish sir started with the subject of disaster. I wanted to just understand that is fire uh, uh, a separate subject or, and uh, is disaster a separate subject or it is clubbed into one committee uh, to take things forward because disaster management is again a separate subject uh, in the state. So how, how do you plan to take it in focus? Uh, how do you plan to treat the subject in focus? So, Cesar, that's a very good question. And you come from the, the background of fire safety and security. Yes. 
So as uh, uh, Ashish explained, uh, the extent of this natural disaster, what kind of a chaos is that it has created all over the globe and also in our country. So the whole idea of focus is to establish a mechanism whereby all these disciplines, they speak with each other. They get integrated in such a way that especially we ensure that this criticality and especially which is going to risk the lives or the quality of the life, which will be focused. So it's a journey that all of us will have to pass it together. It's a very young forum and we are in process of developing several manuals, several write-ups to segregate, to prepare as a proper index. So this is a journey. And today you have exactly uh, uh, talked about an aspect as to how do we see uh, disaster management. But when we talk about a disaster management, currently the disaster management plan is also very much isolated and limited to a particular incidences. We are talking about the built environment. You know, in a built environment, all these disciplines are critical and also becomes more relevant when they perform together. So it's a slightly technical topic. We will discuss as we move ahead on more of our technical interactions. But that is, of course, on agenda. That's one of the things that is on agenda. Right, sir. Thank you. Uh, I would also request all of you, uh, after uh, being part of this session, uh, to express your interest, those who would like to join Mumbai chapter will be very glad. You can contact me offline. Uh, you have a, uh, I believe all of you have my contact. Those who do not have, uh, they can take it. Uh, we will ensure that your registration is with us. Mamta will ensure that you get those contacts and I would be very glad to personally uh, chat with you if it is required at any instance. And our aim is that after two to three weeks, we want to formally uh, launch a Mumbai chapter. And, and for the senior peers, uh, I would urge, if you want to suggest any names who couldn't attend today, but they are worth uh, uh, speaking with, so I would also request all the senior peers to give names of your colleagues and your contacts in your fraternity. So the whole objective of today's program is to be familiar with focus and understand the interest of each one of you and your colleagues to move forward for a formal launch of a Mumbai chapter. Sandeep, can I say something? Vinayak here. Yes. Yeah, go ahead, yeah. Vinayak. Yeah, all of us have been a part of some association of the other. And been in this industry uh, a bit dominant and Ashish with FSAI, then I'm in a part of INBAC. There's always a point that we start with a lot of thoughts and a lot of uh, ideas and everything on paper and we try to uh, reach out to it. But at the end of the day, the focus as a name says should not boil off. You know, that, that is uh, what I uh, would love to put it on the table. We go with a bang. And then somewhere or other, some link goes off and then uh, the entire focus goes off of what you actually want to do and what you want to uh, reach out for. So that's a request that uh, we plan it out such a way that we end up what we have planned and reach out to what we intend to achieve. I mean, I, uh, the name, name, name itself, yeah. the name, name says focus. Yeah, okay, Dominic, let me try to answer Vinayak on this one. I think it's a very relevant thing. Uh, Vinayak, uh, I have also been, just like you, I'm also part of many societies. And I have seen societies which are successful and societies which are not so successful and struggling. One of the reasons why I feel, at least in my experience, is if a society is not dynamic with the leadership, if the leadership sort of uh, becomes uh, stagnant, and if there's not a fresh flow of blood happening in the society, that's when we start losing the, the, uh, the energy, the new energy that can keep coming in. So what we have made compulsory as part of focus is that each one of us can only hold one position and that also only once in the lifetime. So you have a term of two years in that position and after that you are compulsory retired or not allowed to come back in. The intent is there's a new leadership which comes after end of two years. 
they bring in new thoughts they bring in new ideas and the society is sort of going forward if we have to recycle our leaders if we have to struggle to find leaders that means that society is not progressive this is what i have learned when i deal with society like ashre or others who are very very successful and even ishre for that matter because like i became the national president once for one year after that my year of glory is over that's it there is a new president every year that comes in and that is what is the key out here our charter on the day one reads once all you will get a shot at a position so i can never be a vice president again in the society after i complete my two years of period somebody else will come in some new ideas will start flowing so hopefully that will keep the society progressive and keep growing you may have a lull year you may have a active year but at the end of the day the society will keep growing so that's the one of the things that we have done out here i think brilliantly explained by ashish uh, the thought vinayak is not to make it stagnant for sure to institutionalize you know this has to go ahead as a institute today we are there tomorrow some new people will come and this has to become a continuous journey for the entire faculty so that's how the overall constitution of the focus has been done I I have, yeah i have one uh, so it's a very good forum for uh, professionals from uh, different uh, uh, from different streams to to interact and, uh, and the question i have is like like what you mentioned that the, the difference between this this body and the other industry bodies is that they integrate everything and uh, how how do you plan to uh, get the different committees work together because that is the key uh like uh, any any thoughts on getting the uh, you know on on actually having a uh, problems solved by different uh, committees uh well so first thing that i would also like to clarify that this particular forum is to complement all the other forums so there is a deep, deep respect appreciation and the acknowledgement is there for all the forums who are doing a great job so this is not going to talk any language that will substitute or complicate or confuse the fraternity so the whole idea here is to resonate the collaborative approach of each and every respected organizations that we have around us which which the, some of the names have been top like ishray ashray ipa igbc we have uh, uh, fsa and so on a, a very good question you actually pose now how do you ensure that this committee will interact so what we do that we have a governing council we have also an apex body and we meet twice a month for a very serious intense meeting and mr nasima has been leading that from front and twice a month a proper three hour session that takes place where these ideas have been exchanged new thoughts are been discussed and some good action items have been developed you know so that will and then that particular outcome of those meetings are circulated to the each disciplines members also as and when we will have many chapters in place it will be distributed to each chapter chairman secretaries of the chapter and so on so this particular process is on some success has been achieved and yet lot needs to be done and we would always welcome all of your thoughts also into it you have touched the right point you know because how do we ensure that these 15 20 disciplines they behave together some some discussions have happened some uh, thoughts have been crystallized uh, very soon it will be circulated on a larger platform for everybody's comments and value addition so i i have one suggestion that uh, suppose we we uh, you know uh, define some problems pressing problems that need to be addressed let's say it may be a uh, uh, covid okay how to how to deal with a pandemic okay and each uh, you know so there is something that the hr committee may may come up with there is something maybe the security committee may come up with okay and there may be something facilities management would come up with and then if this could be integrated and if we if we have specific points and focus areas on which everyone works 
uh, then i think it is possible and and this could be debated and and uh, then it's it may be possible to work across silos and uh, come to a solution absolutely absolutely so we have to we have prepared some synopsis whereby how to identify the criticality the criticality is also a multifaceted uh, aspect you know the as as we mentioned the life safety and the longevity sustainability but the criticality is also a very subjective matter you know as all of us who work on a project we prepare a design based report and that design based report actually captures the aspiration and the performance and the the future of that project you know and now we have tools like revit and a beam where we talk about several other technology based solutions so we are on it and that is how we will actually bring up a very visible and very convincing mechanism to the entire fraternity and then it will keep on building but that's that's exactly the idea over here that's exactly is the uh, the the gamut of the whole uh, formation of focus thank you i think we should respect the time of everyone we have decided to have a meeting uh, and that's another thing in focus we we are very conscious about time each and every meeting starts dot at the time that has been given we try to complete the meeting in time but it never happens because everybody wants to talk but generally uh, we want to make sure that uh, the meetings are very meaningful thoughtful and it is uh, efficiently done so another 5 to 10 minutes if anybody has any questions otherwise we are aiming to close the meeting at 8 o'clock so we have 12 more minutes to discuss yeah uh, if anybody has a questions uh, rest is next uh, agenda is to uh, you know we welcome uh, uh, respective gentlemen here uh, to enroll or probably put forward put forward yourself as a to become a cwc member core working committee of the uh, mumbai chapter and what role you would like to play so either it can be sent to uh, sandeep or mamata uh, at ourfocus.co so you could forward it then uh, during the launch time or before the launch time we'll do a small orientation uh, then we'll have an official launch the next agenda would be the date for the launch of the chapter uh sorry to ask you uh, in between uh, what will be the structure of this uh, is it state wise only one chapter or we are going to uh, penetrate in all other cities uh in each state there will be city wise chapter uh we definitely want to establish the chapters in the megapolis which includes mumbai bangalore hyderabad chennai kolkata delhi and so on and the it's not state wide chapter it is a city wide chapter and we have an aspiration down the line within a span of one year or so we'll have more than 25 to 30 chapters spread all across the country thank you sir thank you very much so as ashish said this has to become very catalytic this has to become very viral so we want to appreciate and acknowledge talent from all over the places you know the tier 1 tier 2 tier 3 cities the developing rural areas so that you know this becomes a kind of a very inclusive mission and that's what is the the overall aim here so uh, I mean, yeah i i uh, dominic i was thinking that we are on uh, 20 uh, what is the date today i'm sorry 23rd today 23rd i was i was hoping for a uh, a uh, third week of march or fourth early fourth week of march so uh, we can announce the date as soon as we finalize in our governing council but that's a tentative date that we're trying to capture with So yeah meanwhile we can keep on building the cwc member and also we have to have a membership uh, membership is open to all uh, you can log into our website www.ourfocus.co so we request you to subscribe to membership either as a corporate member or a individual member so we need to have minimum uh, 10 members uh, to kick off this chapter uh, we have enough strength now in mumbai however those who are here i request you to join as a member so we passionate flow there 
Perfect. Sounds good. So we'll be uh, 751. Uh, anybody has any questions or can we go and have a what up thanks by uh, Narsiman and uh, close the session? Or Ashish, if you have any you have anything to say? Yeah, sure, Dom. Uh, so it's a, it's these are early days of focus. And uh, I think the ideas that have come up in today's meeting, some of them, Rajesh Ji and, and others, and Vinayak also brought that out, how are we going to be different? I think these are things we need. All of you, in fact, this meeting today, we didn't want uh, a large number of people. We wanted a select gathering who can become mentors for this chapter going forward. So become part and parcel of the chapter. We'd like you to be there. Guide us. Guide the whole movement that we have started so that we are successful. Now, it will need contribution. Uh, it will need uh, ideas. It will need thoughts. What can be done? This is a new area. In fact, in the world, uh, this kind of a forum or a platform does not exist. And uh, uh, we want to be there as leaders. We want to, 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 to put this, the critical utilities on the, on the, uh, on the map out there. So I think uh, I'm aware that there'll be criticisms, there'll be encouragement, but we all need to take all that in stride because then only this, this body is going to be useful and, and, and going to serve its purpose. So please contribute, come forward and be part of the movement. Thank you. Thank you. Over to Narsiman. Thank you, Dominic. Uh, it was an excellent uh, uh, meeting today. Uh, we had some excellent presentation by Mr. Ashish Rakheja, a very passionate uh, presentation from Mr. Sandeep Shikre, and uh, very happy that uh, some of our founder members could also join, uh, like the launch event, uh, uh, grand event that we had in the month of October. Uh, similarly, today also I got, got the feeling that, you know, something big is going to happen in Mumbai with focus and there's going to be a lot of activity. Is going to happen. So I being a Mumbaiker, very happy that, you know, it's it's all taking shape. And uh, hopefully, as uh, Mr. Shikre said, by the third week of March, we should be able to launch with all the support from each and every one. Uh, about uh, the today is about uh, the Forum of Critical Utility Services Association. I must tell you that we are uh, completed all the formalities related with the registration process. We are uh, uh, we have also registered as for the GST. We have got the GST registration done. We have now approached for the trademark uh, registration as well. So uh, the whatever formalities which are required to to run the society in the most efficient and legal manner. All those formalities have been completed. Uh, and uh, talking about uh, the chapter uh, um, uh, launch, which had happened in Bangalore, we had some very good uh, you know, participation there. And then the chapter is now working in, in you know, great uh, co coordination among all the members headed by our chairperson, Ms. Uh, Jayalakshmi Venkat Narayanan, who's also a part of this meeting. So uh, as far as the formalities of conducting the meetings are concerned, we have four councils. We have the management council comprising of the president, the vice presidents, general secretary, treasurer, and the four regional chairs. So we meet regularly and we keep uh, you know, discussing about uh, the management issues. We have the apex management meeting, which also comprises apart from the management council members. We also have the founder members uh, in this uh, apex management council. We meet once in a fortnight and we already have had some seven meetings already since the time the uh, association has been launched. So we have, we, we discuss and we come up with actionable points and we follow up on those actionable points and ensure that, you know, each point is closed uh, before the next meeting is conducted. Otherwise, you know, we, we ensure that this point is carried forward till the time that particular, you know, in the next agenda till the time the closure happens to those, uh, you know, issues or points which are raised in the meetings. We have the development council meeting, which also has the chairs and vice chairs of the various verticals, in, including the Apex Management Council members uh, once in a month. Uh, we have already had the, the third meeting. We'll be having the fourth meeting in the month of uh, 
we just finished it last week and so we'll be having the next meeting in the month of uh, march uh, we also have the governing council meeting which happens which also is uh, supported by some of the fraternal organizations headed by the fraternal organizations the, the chairman or the president of the fraternal organization joins us i'm very happy to tell you there are some 18 fraternal organizations who have uh, are, who are supporting focus and so there are some you know great plans to you know move, get it moving and you know become uh, one of those you know forums where uh, you know uh, we are able to bring in big change in terms of the way things are have been uh, you know the way we have uh, worked on our vision and mission statements as far as today's meeting meeting is concerned i am very happy that there has been participation of over 27 people uh, uh, who have participated in the in today's meeting there's some very good interaction and uh, hopefully your queries have been answered by most of us otherwise you are welcome to write to us on www. Uh, uh, or on our or you can visit our website or you can write to us at admin or general secretary at uh, ourfocus.co and we'll ensure that you get your answers i would like to specifically uh, thank each one of you for today's participation i'll start with mr ashish rakheja for his excellent presentation and introduction of uh, Uh, focus mr sandeep shikre as the regional chair of western india for the passionate uh, uh, you know speech he gave and the encouragement he has given to others my special thanks to mr rajesh venkateshwaran uh, ms mala singh mr rakesh bhatia mr tak matthews our founder member mr rumi engineer ms yogita munde uh, mr satish ayangar our uh, you know treasurer who ensures that you know the the finances handle with strict discipline mr vinayak sane for all the encouragement and uh, you know the the caution that he gave to us today mr uh, amod dikshit mr uh, mr santosh pathak mr baljit singh mr virendra boradi mr prashant sutaria uh, ms jayalakshmi venkatendra venkatnarayanan uh, mr ravi shankar pandavan mr virendra kumar mr mohammad sadiq uh, mr uh, anirudh bapat mr manoj singh Mr. Rupesh Ayengar, Mr. Shahzad Lehri, uh, Mr. Virendra Boradi, and uh, uh, and last but not the least, Mr. Dominic and Ms. Mamata for putting up this excellent show. I thank you once again, each one of you, and we look forward to great actions ahead. And let us all ensure that we meet and we launch this uh, chapter uh, by the third week of March with all the good and best efforts from each one of us. And uh, most importantly we need to now start canvassing for membership so let us all connect with all our known contacts uh, in the industry and make sure that we have good membership you can visit our website and you can get all the details and specifically you want us to from the secretariat or from the general secretary to be addressed to any particular gentleman the invitation to be sent and all that we please connect with us we'll ensure that we talk to them personally and ensure that you know all the details are reached to them thank you once again for all the support over to mr dominic thank you so much sir uh, wonderful to have you exactly 8 o'clock uh, one and a half hour is our time slot that we kept here and we are on dot uh, thank you sandeep thank you ashish thank you lalit ji thank you everyone uh, look out to see you again very soon and uh, hopefully we'll have the efficient uh, chairperson in mumbai chapter and vice chairman so we are looking for a good leadership in the mumbai thank you so much good night and see you soon thank you good night thank you thanks good night friday thank you good night